Okay, the bike, I got the bike fixed. The O-rings work great. And I just took it to get it filled up. That's a six gallon tank. You're not gonna believe how much gas I put in it. 5.93. I wanted to run it dry because I wasn't sure how the, uh, you know, fuel check valve worked. I didn't want fuel leaking out while I was working on it. Now, for some reason, my my tire front tire keeps losing air. I'm going to replace the rim, so I'm hoping it's the valve that has the slow leak and not the tire. The tires are brand new, so uh, I'm sorry. I'm breathing heavy. My light went out up here over the bench, so I got to put a new light in. I'm going to do that first, and then get to work on this rim. All right, I got the uh, caps off. And I'm guessing that this is like a pinch type of bolt. You gotta loosen these nuts here up. And then take this off and then hammer the axle out that way. I'm guessing, we'll see. All right, that is a 15 sixteenths. And you wanna loosen this up before you loosen these up here. And those are, let's see here. Half an inch. So I'm gonna get these loose and see if I can knock this axle out. All right, I didn't take them off, I just loosened them. Let's see if I can pull this out. Now, I'm gonna need two hands or this has a hole in it. I mean, I need to get something through here and pull that direction. So the tire won't come out beyond the calipers. I'm gonna turn it sideways here. So, I'm gonna let the air out of the tire and see if I can yank it out. Otherwise, I gotta pull, and I don't have a socket like this. <laughs> Maybe I do, I don't know, but, jeez. Uh, All right, let me see if I can let the air out of this tire and, and yank it out beyond the calipers and I'll have to put it in the same way with no air and then air it up later. Okay, if not, I gotta either see if I have a socket or go buy a socket and drop one of these calipers off. This is the side without the ABS wire. That side, as you can see, has the ABS wire and this is the ABS sensor. I'll we'll clean that up a little bit too before I put it back. So you want to be very careful with that. All right, let me let the air out. Of course they're 12 millimeter, but I do have a socket that'll work. And uh, I'm gonna have to take them off. If I let the air out of the tire, that didn't help. So I'm gonna have to remove one caliper. I think that'll be enough. All right, I got that caliper out. I laid that, laid it up in there. Here we go. Now, I gotta pull those rotors off because they're chrome. I'm gonna put them on that uh, new rim. And uh, let's get over there and do that. Just a little dab will do ya. There we go. I don't know what the torque specs are yet. I will Google it and find out before I do anything else. Uh, I got this side to put on, the other side, the bearings to put in and then uh, go uptown here and get the tire switched out and see if they can balance this. By the way, here's the uh, kit number. You'll need two of these if you got two rotors in the front. And uh, let's see here. I'll show you the bearings. There we go. This is the ABS side, which is this side. And that's the bearing number. And this is the 2011. And uh, here's the uh, non-ABS side. <sighs> All right. No, you need it? I'm gonna go get some gas with my weed eat from a weed eat. Okay. Ride up to the house and get me a little something something to drink. Okay.
All right. Uh, this is this is the APS side. See the difference in the bearings? And be sure you put the orange side in. Orange side down. And I've seen other people take a little bit of grease, very lightly put a coat of grease in here, and I think I'm going to do the same thing. And then i got to set my puller up. And I'll leave a link to this puller. This is how we pull the old bearings out and put the new bearings in. Self-explanatory, easy to do. So uh, let me uh, get my grease out, put a little bit of grease inside here. All right, this is how it's set up. This is, uh, what is that, 18 millimeter, both sides, same size. And uh, you just crank it down till you feel it hit bottom. Don't forget to put your axle sleeve in there. I'll put that in from, from this side. All right, let me get this in there and then turn my puller around. All right, you can absolutely feel it when that bearing hits bottom. So there's no, no guesswork. You, you'll know when it hits bottom, when it's in, in far enough. So all right, all this got to come off. And uh, basically, we flip it over, put this on that side, put the sleeve in, put the bearing on. <sighs> Wish I had a tripod out here. Did I say that I would leave a link to this kit? If I didn't, I will try to remember to leave a link to this kit. It was like 50 bucks on Amazon. Not bad. Uh, I called a off-brand guy to see what he would charge to uh <sighs> switch the bearings brain freeze for a second i'm old i'm old and forgetful so anyway uh 160 bucks and uh Har harley wanted way more than that so the price of this kit more than paid for itself all right i'm gonna switch it around get my sleeve in there we'll be back there we go now I gotta find out what the torque specs are for these and torque them down and then go up to the uh, tire shop here and see if we can switch these out without messing up my rim, my brand new powder coated rim. We'll be back. All right, we're gonna reverse the process. I'm putting the caliper back on and uh, oh, 16 to 24 foot pounds on those. All right, let me get this caliper on, I'll lower the bike a little bit and uh, slide that axle through. <sighs> Alrighty, now we go for a little ride. Make sure the ABS is working. We'll be back. Okay, wonder of wonders, everything works. So, uh, save myself a few hundred bucks. Okay, I'm gonna put my uh, backrest back in. My bike is ready to go. Now, we're waiting. We're waiting on a fender for my wife's bike. And uh, no answer, those people do not answer their phone. So uh, who knows? Friday, I'm going on a Patriot Guard thing, so. Oh Lord, what a day. Okay, we'll see you soon. <laughs> 